Hello. This is Desktop Paints tutorial number one. In this tutorial, we will explore the fascinating features of the drift brush. The drift brush gives an effect of the object you want to apply the effect to, by moving them back and forth, in your desired directions. Typical uses for example, are to create an effect of a boat rocking on the waves, a flag moving in the wind, or hair, that moves. Here is an example of how you can create, an interesting and exciting animated wallpaper from a single picture file. Step 1. Make a folder. Let's start, by making a folder in which we can save the files we use and create, in our new project. This is advisable, since it will be much easier for you to modify your animated wallpaper in the future, an easy one to find the files you used. Step 2. Chose the background image. When you open Desktop Paint's animated wallpaper maker, you will see a dialog box, with different options to choose from. In this case we want to start a new animated wallpaper from scratch, so we use the alternative, create new project. In this project we will use a picture of a beautiful girl, with long curly hair. So start by clicking on the button named, Change Background, which you will find in the upper toolbar to the left. Navigate to the folder you created and open the tutorial background file named, Beautiful Long Hair Girl. Step 3. Apply the Drift Brush Effect. As you can see on the picture, the girl has many curls in her hair. In order to get a more natural look of the movements of her hair, we will just add a portion of the Drift Brush Effect, at a time. Choose the Drift Brush Effect by clicking on the plus symbol in the toolbox located in the upper right corner. You can also open the effect by clicking on the button labeled, Add Animation. Click on Drift Brush and then confirm by clicking on, OK. You can also double click on the effect and directly go to your workspace without having to click on OK. When you have painted a couple of curls, you start the process all over again. By choosing the drift brush effect, and paint another couple of curls. Repeat this process, until you are satisfied with what you see. Each time you choose an effect and apply it to the background picture, Animated Wallpaper Maker will update the preview of your wallpaper. Now it's time to fine tune the effect you added. You do that by clicking on the effect label in the upper right toolbox. Under the header, Motion Properties, you click on the icon at the left of the glass with paintbrushes, the one with two gears as symbols. Here you can control the speed of movements, amplitude, which means how strong the effect will be, and the direction of the movements. Use different settings for each drift brush you added, and do so until you are satisfied with the result. You can always step forward and backward in your workflow, by clicking on the icons with curved arrows as symbols. You find them in the upper toolbar to the left. Step 4. Time to preview your project. In the lower right corner of the workspace, you find a button named, Preview. When you click on this button you can preview your animated wallpaper on your desktop, as it would look like, after you created the final wallpaper file. Step 5. Add a water droplet effect. As an extra touch of our project, we will make an illusion as of the girl lying beneath water, with water drops hitting the surface. We do this by clicking on the button named, Chose Effect, on the upper toolbar to the left. Select the effect, Rings on Water. Every effect has its own control panel, in which you can alter the behavior and look of the effect. Step 6. Add a sound effect. When you are satisfied with the settings of the, rings on water effect, you can add sound effects to your animated wallpaper. Animated Wallpaper Maker, use Windows WAV files as the standard sound file format. There are some sound effects already added in the program, but if you want to use others, 
you always have the option to import sound clips. You can find thousands of free sound clips by searching after free wave sound clips on Google. In this example we wanted to have the sound of water drops hitting the water surface, so that was what we googled after. We quickly found a sound effect named, water droplet, which we downloaded, and saved on our computer, in our previous made folder for this project. You can add as many sound clips you want, but try to use sound clips which are not too large in its file size, since otherwise the final file will be very large and also may take unwanted processor resources. Step 7. Create the animated wallpaper file. Finally you will create the actual wallpaper file. Here you have two options. Number 1 is to let animated wallpaper maker create the file and automatically use it as your default desktop background. The second alternative is to create an executable file of your wallpaper project. The benefits of this alternative is that you can give away your creation to friends and family, so they can enjoy your beautiful animated wallpaper on their own computers. A final advice. As a final advice we strongly recommend that you during the work process, frequently save your project, in case of unwanted computer shutdowns. Otherwise you will have to start all over again since animated wallpaper maker don't automatically save your work in progress. We hope you found this little tutorial useful and inspiring for you, to make the most of our animated wallpaper maker. Please check out our other tutorial videos. This tutorial is copyrighted by Desktop Paints, and may not be copied or distributed in other forms without our permission.